Oh, you can change the color. Oh my god. It is done. I am the anime waifu. Hey guys, I'm back with a new video today. In today's video, we are checking out a new MMORPG that is uh, out on Korean release right now. And I will let you guys know if this game is worth playing or not when it comes globally. It's called Seven Nights Revolution. I did make a, a video on Seven Nights uh, before uh, where they had like 46 classes. And uh, it was like a big gacha uh, MMO style game. It was more like an action RPG though. But this time they're releasing like a proper MMORPG. Seven Nights is a very famous title too, I think, from uh, back in the day. Uh, so let's check it out. Uh, for more MMO content, guys, make sure you guys give me a like. Make sure you subscribe. Remember two most important things in life, guys. One is uh, follow your dreams. And two is follow my channel. And let's check this game out. So I am playing on the Korean release. And I I know I played like hundreds of Korean uh, MMOs by now. Uh, making videos for you guys uh, but i still don't speak much korean i can say like hana dil set net you know count four maybe to ten but i don't speak korean so i'm gonna do my best to uh, uh try to see how the gameplay feels and everything but off the bat guys we have no gender lock we have female and male uh, genders we are gonna go with the female of course you know gotta look good also i'm sorry for my voice if it sounds a little different i have been uh, struggling with my throat you know lately it's been oh why does she get like different eyes while the other ones don't okay the game looks good so far though i, I like the graphics of it it does look like seven nights too which i like uh and we have character customization plus plus and no gen lock and another plus i am playing on an emulator uh but obviously uh it would look even better on a, on a really good phone uh, let's check. We have more. Ooh, so you can't fully design. No, my eyes. Can I get them back? Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to. I want to keep these. Yeah, let's just let's just not touch this because I want to keep these eyes. You can change different hair color. Ooh, some really nice hair colors, man. There's some waifu, a waifu hairstyles. You guys know what I'm talking about. I know. I know. All right. Let's make her look like uh she looks like a generic anime princess right now let's get some uh i really like this one though let's go with this this is good uh can i change hair color though white yes white hair i'm telling you guys it's the new meta get white hair on your characters okay this is eyebrow. i'm not gonna spend too much on the character customization but you guys can see that there's a lot of character customization to be had i'm gonna get some stars in the eyes you know i'm going full anime Ooh, double eye color change. Uh, we keep it this way. Uh, and then some tattoos, maybe. Ooh, a little scar, a little star. Lahar. Oh, guys, it's over. I have become the ultimate waifu. It is done. It is done. It's done. Yeah, let's look at it. Okay, this outfit is sick. What is this? Oh, we can change the color. Oh my god. It is done. I am the anime waifu. Okay. Gotta look sideways like this. Oh, oh. boom. <laughs> Let's go here. Boom. Yeah. Spit. I, I don't remember last time I actually enjoyed making like a character this much. Uh, I think I made a spit earlier. But maybe it works. Yeah, it doesn't work. Ah. Go to spit levels. That's good. I, I like it. I like it. Good characterization. That was enjoyable. But we have some character. We're going to have wings, probably. Some cool outfits. Now, this game is made by Netmarble. Well, you guys have probably some question on Netmarble. They made A3, Still Alive, Lineage 2 Revolution, Nino Kuni, Cross Worlds, uh, Seven Nights 2. Um, Marvel was good. Blade and Soul was decent. Uh, but most games, they're known to become pay to win. However, I do think they did a very good job. On Marvel Revolution, that's still a good game, and people still enjoy playing it. So yeah, it kind of depends. They do make good games. They have a lot of experience with uh, MMORPGs now. Uh, they have, I think, like their portfolio when it comes to MMOs is pretty good. So uh, you know, uh, I'll have to check out the game. Now, obviously, it's just action shots. You know, trying to look cool for the camera. Okay, I'm not looking cool for the camera, but we're about to find out how cool uh, she really is for the camera. You know how if we can move while attacking now the game looks clean like look at this 
Oh my goodness. But can we move while attacking? Okay, this is a non-movement while attacking. This is... Yo, these skills take way too long to cast. Yo, I'm a melee fighter right now. Why am I using like mage skills that take forever to cast? Do you have dodge abilities? That's good. Okay. Okay. I'm just trying to like see how I can do it. The combat does not feel very fluid. I have to admit. Can I get a different camera angle though? There you go. No, this camera angle is atrocious. Okay, so they we have full 3D. I just don't understand this uh this combat though. Hopefully the other classes. Now they don't didn't let me choose any class. I'm guessing that you'll get weapons throughout the game, so you can keep switching between classes uh whenever you guys want. So that is very nice because let's be real. You guys end up playing an MMO, you guys choose a class, and it becomes the worst class for several, several updates. That feeling is terrible. I, I dislike that. But in this game, maybe maybe I'll get to choose class soon, though. Maybe it's like I have to combat, then I have to be like, now you have to choose. What do you want to become? Now this, okay, this cutscene, everything is cool and all. I... And I'm really not a big fan of like cutscenes and stuff in games unless it's like a full movie, you know, so this is cool and all but I want to play the game Okay, let me ask some tutorial Is this a is this a good or bad girl? I can't because we are the good guys, right? So she has to be bad. Why does she look? Wait, did the man just turn into a female? And then Or are they like friends? I, I have no idea what's going on guys like it's even confusing even though there was no korean there it was too oh there we go this is another class okay 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 what about this okay faster attacker faster attacker but same you can't move while attacking come on man why why do they do this to games okay you can move while using the normal attack that's good at least but i mean the skills are long cast anyways right but you can move while you use a sword like i mean your auto attack or normal attack what do you guys want to call it like i'm holding this in and i can like let's see if i can move my character can i move her yeah like she moves the way that you face her or the character the way you face the character that's good i mean the the skills take very long it's gonna be just pp in this game uh it's just it's gonna be real difficult to play now i'm i'm, I'm guessing they're just showing me all the classes so we had the sword and shield tank class then we have the rapier fast attacker more like assassin type now we have a big boss oh no don't die wait are they actually gonna kill him? they actually killed him oh my god <laughs> that's messed up bro but i didn't, didn't they didn't really have a lot of character development so i didn't really care about the characters Oh, is she gonna revive him? Is this some reincarnation jutsu man? I mean, yo, she looks, she looks good. There's these things about these cards in this game. Uh, I think it's Seven Nights too. Also, the same. I guess there's a Seven Nights thing. Uh, now, I'm wondering, are these the characters that you can like the classes that you can play, or is this like because in Seven Nights too you could like have minions following you, which had like different abilities. Are they going that route or are you actually going to be like a full-fledged MMO where you can choose different classes? Let's see what we have. Hmm. I mean, the game so far is not bad. Uh, the graphics are really, really cool. I just hope they do something unique, right? Not copy everybody else. Character customization is really good. No general lock. The plus combat, it seems like the cooldowns of the skills are going to be very long. So it doesn't really matter on the combat that much. They can move attacking. Oh, what is this? Now I have... I'm a, I'm a puncher, see? So when I punch, I can like move what direction I want. Or if I use the skills, it will punch... Oh, so I... It will like... All right, so the the skills have like a whole like uh, animation thing to them, but you can kind of move where they're going, but you can't like move while attacking, basically. So, uh, I mean, it's interesting. I can see it working out and not being boring, uh, but it's also again like, is this something really great? You know, is it? Uh, let's see. Do we have autoplay in this? 
We have auto questing, yep. Of course we do. Yeah, give me my potion. Assign me all my potions. Yeah. Alright. More auto quests. But I still haven't been able to choose class. Like, I don't know why. They made me try all these different classes, but uh, I'm guessing they're going for like the same Arata Seven Knights too, right? Where you can have like minions that follow you that use different skills. But instead of being like an action RPG gacha game, this is actually an MMO. I mean, it looks the world looks beautiful. It looks really great. You know, her hair, white hair is a lashy. Let's see here. What do we have here? Can I like wings? Can we look at this or is it locked? Locked, yeah. Yeah, these bars are locked. This is locked. See, there's PvP. You know, I always recognize dual swords. You know, we have guild. This is guild. I already can tell. This is a pay to win shop, obviously. Uh, this game probably does have pay to win. But, uh, <coughs> alright, I'm gonna keep it short. We're gonna stop here because, uh, uh, I just wanted to give like my, my first impressions of the game. Honestly, Seven Nights Revolution, it's called. Seven Nights Revolution. Uh, it looks good. It looks better uh, than Seven Nights uh, 2 that they released. The gacha RPG MMO style game. Looks better than that. Uh, no gender lock. I like that. Uh, Combat is a little tricky, there's character customization, but the world looks really beautiful. I feel like all of these MMOs recently are going for like the whole like Genshin Impact world look, like anime style look. Which is fine, you know, I, I mean, I don't complain. It looks good. Uh, there's PvP in this game, there's uh, dungeons in this game. Uh, there's some cool animation uh, skits, like story-wise. Uh, if people are really into like the whole story part of the game. So I do think this game will come out globally when I see a decent uh, MMO uh, on the Korea version. I can kind of tell if it's going to come out globally. And this game will for sure come out globally eventually. But that is it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe to this content. I am a little sick, but when I get better, there will be more MMORPG content coming up soon so i would give this game maybe like a six out of ten so far uh, but it has potential if you can actually choose i mean i think you can if you can actually like just switch between classes by choosing weapons i'll even give it like seven out of ten so i'm excited for it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye